In today's video, I will be creating high-end lantern, super glam lantern using Poundland items. I hope you enjoy the video. And I'm sure you could find similar items from your own Dollar Tree. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all well and enjoying your Sunday so far. If you're new, visiting my channel for the first time. My name is Shule and if you like the content in today's video, I hope you can subscribe for more inspirational and relaxing videos. I'm participating on a challenge called Sunday Fun Day and this challenge is hosted by lovely Diane and Yanni over at the Deco Easy and their co-host is they have a new co-host is Crafting Cousins Trish and Kay. I will leave all these links in my description box, their channel links along with the playlist and enjoy the video. For the base I will be using this wooden sign, blank sign from the range store and it was only one pound. I'm using chalk paint to paint then I'm going to glam it up. I'm giving two coats so between the coats I'm just wrapping my brush inside the packaging and I cleaned all the glasses and now dealing with the decor on top. These glass crystals are from eBay and I don't like using acrylic ones because it doesn't reflect the light as beautiful as the glass ones and I'm always a uh, after a high-end product for my home that's why I prefer glass ones after I got the pattern that I liked in order to duplicate for all four of them I made up a template using a pa paper and pen so I could repeat the process for each side. I'm using hot glue gun but only tiny little bit because I don't want the excess glue showing but if you want to use a permanent adhesive make sure it is non-yellowing one I'm not sure about this DIY I don't know if I'm going to leave it like that so that's why I am using hot glue gun in case I change my mind I use pliers to remove all the metal clips then I use hot glue to stick the glass back on. And then I repeat it to process for all the frames. To glam up the base I have few alternatives. I can either use these gems which clash with the crystals or I could use this strip it was a bit thin and then in the end I decided to use this sheet that I bought from Amazon and I cut them into the right size strips I 
I don't remember how much I paid but I will try to link it for you as I said I bought it from Amazon and it really gives high end finishes to any of the craft projects that I used in. I use hot glue again to stick it on but you can use more permanent glue if you wanted to. To assemble my lantern I use hot glue gun but you could actually use something more uh, permanent like E6000. By experience metal on metal hot glue goes cold so quickly and also it gets really bumpy as it gets cold quickly and I really didn't want to use hot glue gun on this one so I decided to use a glue strip instead. Unfortunately I lost the footage, most of the footage and here's the finished version and I'm going to show you daytime as well. I decided to use a platform underneath as well which is perfectly matching. This one is from the range store and it was only £3. I bought it a few years ago but it's still on sale so I decided to cover the black edging using the same strip to coordinate with the lantern on top. They both have so many potentials for decorating and here are some of them. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it inspirational for your own glam projects. If you did please subscribe to my channel so I can continue to inspire you more. Thank you so much ladies, I really enjoyed participating. I'm done but you're not done yet, go to my description box, find the playlist and go ahead and enjoy all the other participants videos. Until my next video my friends, bye bye.